How's it going everyone? My name's Graham and welcome to Antihero, a turn-based multiplayer strategy game about running a thieves guild. Recruit street urchins, hire gangs, steal everything, bribe, blackmail, assassinate your way to victory. This is an early access title that's on PC right now, but it will also be on mobile devices. I just finished going through the tutorial because I didn't want to drag you guys through that process in case it was too lengthy. There's quite a bit of ins and outs of this game to be learned, so I think that was the right choice. Just to show it off, I'm going to be doing a skirmish, which is actually just playing against a computer. And at some point after the game's release, there's going to be a full involved single player campaign and everything that the developers are really excited about. Unfortunately, there's just nothing to show for that right now. I'm going to jump right in here into a skirmish, I get to choose my character, I'll be Longfinger, he's like the main guy, he looks pretty cool. So in the tutorial you were playing in a city, it looks like in the wharf I'm actually playing on like some docks, so there's going to be a few things that are a little bit different here, uh, things that I wasn't, uh, things that I didn't get to learn beforehand. Alright, so this is my guy, he's the Master Thief. So here we are, this is the map, you can see there's fog over everything that I haven't scouted yet. And anything that has this banner above it is things that I'm probably going to want to infiltrate. I can either earn gold or lanterns, both of which can be spent on all sorts of different things that I'll be showing off. You can see here these five little diamonds on either side, those are where the victory points are going to go. And so I'm trying to get five victory points before Ligrave is. You can see these two little green dots above me here, those are both of my scouting, or I guess action points, it doesn't even necessarily have to be scouting. That was probably a poor use of one, <laughs> I was trying to see what this guy is. Uh, there's, there's just people who wander around the map. And so I'm going to spend my other action point scouting this out, this Weeper's Ridge here. Because you can see in the bottom left here, if I put urchins inside of it, then it will start producing for me. So if I infiltrate it with one urchin, I'll get one lantern per turn. And if I get three urchins in there, it'll produce three lanterns per turn. Once per turn, you can visit your guild, and there's things you can upgrade here. So you can see here, these upgrades all cost lanterns, and different units like urchins and stuff cost gold. And so once per turn, I can spend on either an upgrade or I can take from the charity, which is totally free. I can do that once per turn, but it's either or. I can't do both. And I think I'm going to spend it on gold. I'm going to use my free action to get some gold so that I can immediately... Oh, I didn't think about that very wisely. I, I don't even have the cooking to get an urchin yet. So next turn, I'll be able to get an urchin and then I'll be able to place him inside of this ridge that I've now scouted. These other buildings that are here, you can jump into them and actually steal gold from them. That's their main purpose. So at the end of your turn, your Master Thief always goes back to your main guild, and now my opponent gets to start doing his turn. Now and again, assassination contracts come up. I think they're supposed to be like corrupt city officials. So now, <laughs> I thought it said Mr. Fripple, what, how, what, what is this? Fist, fist, Fister Whipple. Fist, Fist Rip Whipple. That's who I'm, uh, there's an assassination contract out, and so if I were to assassinate them, I would actually earn a victory point. That's one way you can get victory points. But it has, uh, it has four health, and right now my Master Thief can't even attack. That's like an upgrade I have to buy, or I have to buy gang members, which is an upgrade I also need. So I can't even attack anything right now. So an assassination is kind of far down the line. It's not something I can do right away. I want the upgrade so I can start producing urchins. Along with the upgrade, you get one free urchin. So I'm going to go plop this guy... Oh, I didn't even scout it yet. That was my mistake. I, I must have just scouted the fog in front of it there. So now it's been scouted. So I get to claim some gold. I like burglarized it a little bit. Now that it's been scouted, this guy is able to infiltrate. So now he like works there, I guess. And once per turn, he'll be able to provide me with some lanterns, which will be helpful for doing some upgrades. Hello. I think... Should I either burgle this or... I think I'm, I want to see what this guy is. Right, he's one of these henchmen, henchmen who they are. They can actually block paths, and so you can see this is probably also a henchman sitting right here down this alleyway. I won't actually be able to move past him without killing him, or going around him the long way, so they can be pretty troublesome. I think that's pretty much everything I can do this turn. I've used my upgrade, I spent money on things. Uh, I can't buy, I can't afford two more urchins, I don't think. So I'm, I'm going to move on. I'm just going to wrap up that turn. 
We see Bygrave just killed one of the henchmen there, and... And did he just scout that, or did he infiltrate it? I am I, I'm not sure which. I think he I think he might have infiltrated it. So I actually need to buy the gang upgrade before I can give the Master Thief a dagger, so I guess I'll just be buying a gang then, so I can start killing. You can see here they have two health, they have one attack, and this red thing is actually their eviction. So I can go to an enemy thing and evict their urchins to try and take over the building, so I could try and get up to the horrid runt and try and evict someone. But I'll just be using this gang member to kill this henchman. They're just neutral. Either one of us could kill them. You get gold for killing. After gang members kill, they actually get an upgrade, and so I can either spend it on any of these things. In the tutorial, I found that upgrading damage was like crazy helpful, because if I get that damage high enough, I can use my thief, say, to do one damage on this guy, and then use the gang member to get three damage, and all of a sudden I, I like completed a contract. That can be like crazy helpful, so I, I found that that's a good strategy. So, the hero's estate has been scouted. Oh, there's a, there's a guy guarding it. There's actually a henchman who's guarding that estate there. And I think the only value that state estates have is that they have lots of money to be stolen. So I would probably want to buy this upgrade first so that I can get like a bunch of shit out of estates. It might not totally be worth it. Ooh, this is probably something I should show off. Bribery, you can actually buy a victory point with lanterns, that's what this is here. And so there's different city officials that can be bribed, and each one can only be bribed once by either player, and once they've been bribed, then it moves on to the next one. So this guy, say, costs six lanterns. Once once one of us bribes him, the next city official might cost seven or eight, it goes up each time, so it's, it's probably a good strategy to try and get this first one. And I might as well just try and rack up a little bit of gold, so I think I'm just gonna burglarize one of these. I don't think you can get caught burgling or anything like that, so it's worth it to just get in there. Uh, you can see this big sack means that you can steal two gold from it. You can actually burglarize something twice. Is burglarize the right word? Am I making that word up? I, I honestly don't even know. If I were to go back to this one a second time, then I would get only one gold, and then after that you can't you can't steal from them anymore. So let me just buy an Hello. urchin here, and I think I'm gonna plant him I'm on it. into the trading house. And if I can afford it, I can afford one more urchin, so I think I'm gonna do it so I can try and rack up I'm lanterns more quickly here. So now I have three guys in there, I'll start earning two lanterns from it per turn. So that's I think that's worth it. That's probably worth the money spent. I guess I can see what Ligrave has, but I don't actually get to see what he earns per turn. Oh shit, so Ligrave just killed that guy and he just started uh, scouting another thing now. Alright, I am going to try and kill this guy in the estates here. Because that's basically a free upgrade for these guys. That's pretty sweet for me. I think that's totally worth it. Do I want more gold or more damage? More damage. Being able to do lots of damage seems like super worthwhile. And I think I'm going to unlock the thug because what I can do then is I can join the thug up with the gang to grant them an extra health, like one more heart worth of health. But you can also use thugs uh, independently. They can stand by themselves like henchmen do and block paths. So that could be useful like defense against your your enemy but I'm gonna do that one get my one free thug and immediately join him up with the gang give them one extra health just in case the enemy guy comes comes for me which I think is like likely to happen see I I don't get to know if what this is before I scout it for example this is a trading house this is an estate there's also there's churches there's a few other things so I, I actually don't get to know what it is until I go and scout it can I scout all the way to there? Ooh, you can see these red footprints? And so that means my enemy has actually already been here. It, I get to see where he's been and what he's scouted already. The Ear Trumpet is a strange fellow's club. Thugs cost one less. Gangs start with one more, one more health. Ah, uh, the thugs, cheap thugs can be useful. I've never got one of these up to three. Gangs having extra health is useful, but if I can just pump out cheap thugs at the cost of one urchin, that seems more worth it to me. I'll, I'll show you. Hello. So let me go infiltrate this. 
this thug is gonna go from two to one? Yeah, it, it takes effect the same turn. I actually wasn't absolutely certain about that. I'm gonna recruit this thug. I'm gonna make this okay. gang like a little more domineering there. Like no one's gonna fuck with these guys now. Look at all the damage they do and all the health they have. They're fucking crazy. And let me see. I have I have a plan here. I think I think if I can pull it off, if this guy doesn't fuck with me. Oh god. <laughs> oh, he went and stole that. I I don't think I was gonna do it this turn anyways. But get out of here! What is he doing? Blackmail acquired. What did he do? Did he just did he just buy a blackmail? That might have been what he did. Shit, he seems to be making a lot of progress here. I'm I'm scared this gang is gonna go like evict evict me. Oh, get back here! No, you moving might have screwed me. Oh shit! All right, well I need to upgrade. Oh, I was gonna upgrade my dagger attack so that. I could move to here, I could have attacked this official, and then followed it up with this gang member, and then I would have been able to kill them and would have had an assassination thing? They screwed me on that one. Yeah. So instead, fuck this gang, this this enemy's gang there, I'm scared he's going to evict me or Let's something, go. so I'm going to take out his gang. Since I do three damage, I can just totally wipe them out, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to upgrade my guys. Is four damage worth it? I don't know, from what I've seen, the computer doesn't seem to lean as heavily on upgrading their gang. So I'm gonna put my focus in like building up this super tough, awesome gang that should hopefully just be able to like bowl over any of these. I feel like this guy kind of looks like Daniel Day Lewis's character from American Gangster. Is that what that movie was called? Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York. That's totally what this guy looks like. Bill the Butcher. I hope that's what they were going for. It looks pretty pretty hilarious. I want I want to be able to do one more thing per turn, and next turn I'm going to buy the masterpiece thing so I can I can steal from there. Why not? I don't really know what my what my overall plan is here. Let me see. And let's. And I, I might as well scout out this because it's way off in the corner here. No one's going to come mess with me. Trading house. Oh, it's just another place where I can get lanterns. I mean. I could I could start gunning for a bribe. That might be worth it. Hmm. Maybe I want to get in there and get the first bribe. You can start to see how like I could buy the dagger and go on the offensive. I could buy this for like the long-term investment of being able to earn more stuff more quickly. I could buy a bribe right away. Like there's all these trade-offs you have to try and make. Oh, I still haven't I still haven't spent one this turn, have I? In that case, I'm gonna try this. I haven't bought this upgrade before. Oh, upgrades start getting more expensive. I don't think I realized that. Oh shit, even the bribe just got more expensive. I thought it would get more expensive the more that were bought. I didn't realize over time it would be harder to bribe officials. Ooh, I wonder if I should have worked towards that more quickly. Yeah. That's fine. I'll make do. I'll be fine, I'm sure. break in those lanterns. I don't like how many things that Ligrave has invested in, but maybe it's not actually that many. What? What did he just do? He can go into my thing? I didn't know he could do that. What did he do? Did he did he rob it? Maybe because I only stole the one coin, or two coins from it, like the first burglary? Did he go in there for the second one for one coin? Was that like really worth it? Is that, is that worth your time? Do you care so much about that? What a joke. Pretty much all of this, other than the dagger, were things that weren't included in the tutorial. This is like going beyond my scope of knowledge in the game here. The saboteur traps building scouts tiles. That sounds cool. That does sound cool. But having your thief be able to attack is pretty valuable. I can only do one damage though, and these guys have two, two hearts worth of damage. So I think I might as well polish them off. And they basically just gave me a freebie. Like now, now I'm, I'm for sure jacking up the attack because I don't want him to like get a leg up on me in any way. You, you can go kill this guy. By the way, you can freely move to uh, scouted tiles if that wasn't already apparent. So you can basically just teleport teleport across the map. I can hop over there, kill that guy, hop back over here, try and burglarize a masterpiece, get some lanterns. And, hmm, do I do it one more time? I think I might as well. 
he he's gonna swoop in there and beat me to it if I don't so I'll get in there and I'll get my two gold I think I want to start stocking up on lanterns and try and get that first bribe this guy this guy's got a victory point here he's he's kind of got a bit of a leg up on me right now I don't want him to get too far ahead I think I'm also gonna bolster my my gang here because I don't want him to come out and do like a one two with his master thief and his own gang so I want to I want to keep those guys well protected if you hadn't noticed, when you're buying urchins and thugs and stuff, they get more expensive each one you buy in a turn. And so it's almost worth it to only buy one per turn if you can, unless there's some big grand scheme you're working towards. Otherwise, I just like to buy one at a time. So I feel like this video was my version of like a live tutorial, catching you guys up on how the game works. You get to see it in action. And you can just see how expansive this game gets and how... There's, there's like limited resources, only a couple different types of units, a couple different types of buildings, a couple different upgrades, but all of a sudden it starts adding up very quickly into a pretty complex strategy game. So I'm pretty excited about this game. I'm gonna come back to it. The next episode will be me playing through more of this. So you can see the results of my matchup against Ligrave here. He does have a bit of a leg up on me here right now, but he's a dumb computer and I'm a maybe a little bit less than dumb human, so suck on that lie grave. Thanks so much for watching guys, let me know what you think of Antihero so far, I'll see you again soon.